So right now what I'm gonna try to do is uh, remove the stock uh, throttle body from the R18. Uh, I do have a uh, uh, NSI throttle body. So we're gonna compare it to see how much bigger it is. Because uh, originally I do wanna go with the J35, but since I already have an SI one, uh, I wanna see um, if it's uh, like a quarter inch or whatever uh, difference. Maybe I'll slap it on and then eventually move on to the J35. Because uh, I've heard it is doable. And if not, well, I guess we'll experiment and see. So, yeah, guys, uh, we're going to have four bolts. One, two, three, four. And you're going to have to remove, I believe, three hoses. It's going to be this top one right here. I believe that's from your EVAP. Then this one's for, uh, for coolant. Normally, uh, OEM, they have the little brass... Uh, those brass lines, but I removed them because they look kind of dumb and well once you remove your stock box I mean it looks kind of weird and you have your uh, That one another one down here and that one has coolant. So Be careful. That's why I have the little zip tie right there. Oh and the connector right there a little six pin right here Yeah, looks like because it has a little plastic shroud uh, So I usually like to peel it backwards. I mean you can still do it with it. I mean obviously it says push I like to uh, take it off, that way I have an actual grip on this thing, so just squeeze the top. I mean, it helps if you kind of squeeze the top and then kind of wiggle the, the sides. Anyways, that's that. Now all of the connectors, connectors, hoses, and bolts are off, so as you can see, it's fairly easy. See, on the left, I have the stock uh, R18 one. And over here on the right, I have the SI. So just by looking at it, it doesn't really, well, on camera, it doesn't really look that big, uh, bigger. But if you grab this bolt right here, uh, kind of clears it. This one, I mean, it actually falls in. Uh, so yeah, so this is the inlet. So right off the bat, I mean, you can tell the inlet's bigger on this one. Let's actually compare the the outlet. Uh, yeah, it's gonna look a little bit. But that's fine. All right. So on this one, I mean, it still fits in, and on this one, it still doesn't. So let me actually grab a tape tape measure and actually give you guys some uh, some actual numbers. Maybe that'll help. I have the stock uh, R18 throttle body. So, I mean, it looks pretty small. I don't know if you can tell from the camera. It looks fairly small. All right, and then you have the SI right here on the right. In person, I mean, you can notice a, a difference right away. Uh, just to kind of give you guys some numbers. All right, so this one is fairly uh, two and a little bit, a little bit greater than two and a half. And then you come over here, and this one's actually. Right, guys. So, as you can see, uh, let's give you guys some numbers. This one is. Oh, just a little bit, or if not, I guess we can call it even and say it's two and a half. Well, just a little bit, just one sixteen over, uh, just one sixteen greater than uh, two and a half. Then we go to the R18 one, and we do notice that it's, uh, I want to say two and three eighths. So it is. A little smaller. so it is one eighth smaller than the than a half so whatever this is uh, lacking I mean this one has extra I guess in sort of two in sort of terms all right so now let's actually go and compare the outlet so right off the bat there's some numbers right here and if you can see them this one says 66 or 660 this one says 655 so I'm not sure if that's maybe like millimeters. Let me 
maybe that's no, I don't think that's 65 and a half uh, let's see all right so in the back the SI one is two and a half and then the R18 the outlet or yeah the outlet it is two and one quarter so I mean as you can see it is smaller in the inlet as well as the outlet so just like many um, just like many throttle bodies like they do have like a greater inlet but then the actual uh, throttle body uh, assembly it's actually uh, well the inside is actually smaller so it kind of tapers in as you can see i mean it's that case with this one uh it's well it's a little bit bigger than two and a half and then it's two and a half in the outlet and then in the inlet this one's uh quite smaller than two and a half but i guess uh the misconception is you can slap a two and a half coupler so that means it's two and a half but I mean, there's a difference between ID and out D, which is the inner diameter and the outer diameter. So, I mean, it's it's minimal like difference, but if you're trying to squeeze like the most power out of like something, especially if you're like NA, uh, I mean, it wouldn't hurt to just grab a, an SI or a J35. So this is just a comparison. I'll do a separate video of uh i mean i'll probably start with the si porting it to the manifold and then uh, once i actually get my hands on the j35 i'll probably do an update video on that but yeah, guys just to kind of give you guys a or an overall idea of the size size comparison because i did have someone arguing that the uh the r18 and the si si and r18 were similar but that's what i'm saying just because you slap a two and a half coupler doesn't mean the inlet is uh that size hope this video gives you guys a, an idea so it is pretty much plug and play all the connectors and the hoses line up so yeah guys if you want to try it just wait for my next video stay wicked